Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I will be discussing the row space of the matrix. So in the previous video, we talked about the column space of a matrix. And we said that the column space of our matrix is a subspace of Rm, where m is the number of rows that we have, because each vector has m components. And similarly, the row space of a matrix, which we denote as rho of A, is a subspace of Rn, where n is the number of columns in our matrix, because now what we're dealing with, instead of dealing with the columns of a matrix, we're dealing with the rows, and each vector that creates a row has n entries. And that's why the row space of our matrix will be a subspace of Rn, where n is the number of columns. And just like in the case of column space, the row space is equal to the span of the rows of our matrix. So in this particular example, we have a row space which is equal to the span of the vectors negative 2, 2, 6, 0, which is the first row, 0, 6, 7, 5, which is the second row, and one, five, four, five. So the row space is just the span of the vectors that create the rows of our matrix. And another thing that I want to point out is that as we perform row operations on our matrices, the row space is preserved, meaning that if we have a matrix A, which is row equivalent to matrix B, then this means that the row space of A is equal to the row space of B, meaning that the rows in A and B span the same space. And this makes intuitive sense because whenever we perform a row operation, it just adds linear combinations of the rows. And that's why the row space is preserved. And we're going to use this fact in order to find a basis for the row space. And I will go over that in the next video. So thanks for watching and I will see you guys later.